Hey, how's it going, everyone? I want to go over a breakfast with bulls with you guys. I wanted to give you guys my top five stocks that I do like going into this week. And I am going to give you that. But before we get into that, quick disclaimer, anything we do mention is purely for entertainment purposes. If you guys would like financial advice, I recommend you contact Spanish Professional. However, we have been going play by play day by day throughout the whole year. So if you guys want to see more entries and breakouts, all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you will be notified at a timely matter. And again, much love to everyone that does subscribe. We do go all out Monday through Friday on entries and breakouts. So we're going to be looking out for more of those. Now, I am going to go over my top five stocks. I do like this one in particular because, again, all of these have volume and I think they could possibly continue. And a couple of them are entries that I do like. And I'm going to go over these ones in particular as the market has been on a sell off overall. So, again, we are going to go over a few charts here. So, the first one I do like is XSP. I think this one is a huge sleeper. I think a lot of people are sleeping on this one as I know it has been coming down for quite a while. But, however, it did come down to its previous support where it did break out. And I think this is uh, the bottom here for XSPA. I think if it did continue to call uh, come down, I think I would continue to buy here because they are um, continuing to add airports to their testing sites. So again, I think this is super bullish for this company. I think this will have a run up back up to eight to $10 eventually. I really do. And I think uh, it's very low risk play for the price it's at at this point. But again, it is a penny stock. So it does fluctuate pretty fast. So again, you could lose your money pretty quickly if it goes down to 50 cents. So again, you want to make sure you play accordingly. And this is not recommendation. This is what I do. I want to make sure I don't put too much money into something that could move too quickly. But again, if it does break out of 331 and hold above it, if you want a breakout point, that would be the breakout point. Again, we would have to see volume with that. But again, I do like this bottom play. I'm going to be entering it a little early here as the market has been on a sell-off. So again, I like this one as a nice long-term play. Um, WTI is my next play. I do like um, again, this one has about 40 million volume in, and on average, they have about 8.4 million volume. That's uh, more than four times as much volume on average. And you can see it has been having a nice recovery. We've been seeing in the light of uh, buy volume here, and we want to see if this one does break out of its uh, previous sell-off point. Again, we do have that at 495. Again, if it does hold over $5 with volume, I do think this one could break into the seven to $8 range, and that could be a nice another 30 to 40% gainer. Again, this one has came up quite a bit, so you want to be careful. You want to make sure it holds over five, and you don't want it to get wicked down, coming up to $6 and get wicked down. You want to make sure it does come up gradually and does break out. So again, WTI is definitely on the watch. Again, that's not a recommendation. That's what I'll be doing. BGI is another play. Again, this one has about 2 million volume. On average, they have about 1.6 million. That's about 25% more than on average, but I do like the setup here as it did. Uh, you can see it did come up and then it came down, recovered, and it looks like it wants to do a recovery here. But again, we need to see more volume here. We did see the volume coming in on Friday. We want to see if this does continue. But again, we have overall been on a nice consolidated play and it looks like it wants to break out to its previous highs at 513. So again, BGI is definitely on the watch here as they are having volume that has been coming in on Friday. Now, OPGN is another play here. I do like... Um, I do like this play again. They have twice as much volume as on average. They have about 6.1 million volume and usually they have about 3.7. Um, I do like this play as it did come down to its previous breakout point. It looks like it's bottoming, bottoming here. Uh, again, this was something that we saw with XSPA, another bottom play. I'm going to be entering into this one lightly, of course, because it is a penny stock, but I like this. It is its previous breakout point, as you can see back here in February 2020. And it did break out here. So I do like this as a nice play for an entry. I'm going to be entering OPGN. That is another good play on a long-term play. But again, the market has been selling off. So I'm not expecting too much. I'm almost expecting the averaging down on a lot of these. But again, some of these, like I said, could be breaking out like WTI coming into Monday. Um, and then another one here I do like is SBE. Um, they did merge with Charging Point. And so they are now Charging Point CH. Um, PT here and charging point is an electric vehicle charging company. I do like how it has been having a sell off because the market did lose confidence after the merger. Again, I did sell off before the merger could uh, let me lose money on this one for sure because the market was starting to sell off. So I did sell off on the SBE play, but again, it did come down. I like how it's came down to its previous breakout point. I think this is bullish overall as a company. Again, it is an EV charging company. I think EV charging is bullish and it will have its time to come. And I think this one will break into new highs eventually. From down here at $19, I do believe that it will go up to $60 eventually. Again, they are a top um, EG, EV charging company. They definitely compete with um, uh, Power and all the other companies like BLNK out there. So again, charging points definitely bullish in my opinion overall as a company. I think this is a great sell-off to be entering into. Um, again, enter lightly as the market has been selling off. We don't want to see more of a sell-off and somehow it breaks down below its previous consolidated play, which I really doubt it will. But if it does, then... I want to make sure we be careful there. But again, I like Charging Port overall. Um, it's a very great company. It looks like they're very profitable, and I think they could definitely have a run-up. But again, 
I hope you guys have been enjoying our entries and breakouts throughout the week. I hope you guys enjoyed our breakfast of bulls. And again, I am much love to all you guys that have it in the comment section. I appreciate all you guys. And if you guys do have a watch list, throw in the comment section, anything on your mind, throw in the comment section. And tomorrow morning, I am going to go over all of your guys' tickers that you guys talk about in the comment section. I'm going to go over not all of them, but I'm going to go over 10 of them. So I'm going to randomly choose 10 tickers in the comment section, throw them in there. I'm going to do that for you guys because I want to show some love to you guys tomorrow morning. So again, look out for that. And again, you guys know our Sunday night countdown. We have our weekly watch list. So again, be on the lookout for that. But again, much love to everybody that has been in here. Much love to all you market bulls. I appreciate you all. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.